Dr. Kizabis J. Stein Iganga started with an abrupt visit to Iganga District Referral Hospital. There was panic as some medical workers were seen trying to clean the hospital, presumably to avoid embarrassment and negative media attention. Bess J also visited the five FDC supporters who were allegedly beaten by NRM supporters on Sunday night. He expressed his disappointment over the dilapidated state of the facility. Iganga Hospital, like all the other health facilities in Uganda, is in a very bad shape, as we could see. The infrastructure is dilapidated. The conditions in which uh, patients stay in the wards, the mattresses, the bed. The opposition politicians later took to the streets and villages to converse for votes. Bessie's call for change was as passionate as usual. Waliwa bazali na kusiko. E Uganda, yo Uganda ziri meka. Teba balimba simanyi yelo, simanyi bichi. Uganda bili, era, abali mwenu, enyigiri zibwa. Lutalo wetuliko, luakwe dize guangali afe. Likolelebu liomu. He condemned the corruption within the system. Uganda tefu na angabu. Government yobu, binga government ichi. Nga government yeno. Zebata baba ziko zesabubi. Bazikoze sakubatono, ziva mubanji rezikola kubachi, kubatono. Oida waile chikumi, chikasongye, alamikegane. The Iganga woman MP position fell vacant following the death of Hailat Kahunda in July 2017. Five ladies came out to vie for the seat, but the competition is mostly between FDC's Mariam Nantali and NRM's Brenda Asinde Subi. The by-election will be held on Thursday, 14th September, 2017. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.